Of all new COVID cases last week, children accounted for roughly one in five. The B117 variant is mostly to blame for the recent spike in cases. The wait for all kids to get the vaccine continues. What we have seen with the variants is that they have an increased ability to transmit across all age ranges. Whether children are driving transmission, that is really not something that I think the data strongly supports. We also know that children are possibly more social and less sequestered at home now than they used to be. So that's another potential reason why we're seeing more pediatric cases. We know that youth sports have resumed and other social activities, which may be possible places for exposure. I'm increasingly hearing of schools and camps issuing requirements for children to be vaccinated before they're able to attend. And in my view, it's a bit premature because we don't yet have vaccines that can be used in children under 16. That said, I think we also have to remember that serious complications from COVID in children are extremely rare. And so I think the risk benefit uh, calculation for children is actually quite different than adults. So in the last year, we've learned a lot about COVID in schools and have gotten ample information that shows that um, when we have multiple layered safety protocols, schools are quite safe. And the physical distance is probably not the most important safety measure. It's probably masks and cohorting, meaning grouping students so that we limit numbers of exposures. If the ventilation is good, then it is fine to bring students back 